Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Now, uh, last time we moved into this brilliant office, we got some cash. Nobody's doing anything at the minute. Um, we've got fill position here. Uh, tutorial. Hey, you can hire up to four employees in the office. Don't try to hire everyone at once. Staff are expensive. Uh, yes, that's very true. Um, but let's have a look. What's this? Find uh, filter applicants. Uh, yeah, well, what we'll do, we'll um, we'll spend 50k on uh, uh, start looking for some staff. There we go. Hellish um, train. Do I get? Do I get? Um, yeah, let's do that one. Make me think. Can I do that one? I can't do that one. I ain't got any research points. I've only got one research point. So, what you know we're going to do? We're going to have to develop a new game. Um, so, Dave the Duck and uh, Scallywag the Orc have all been pretty successful so far. Before we develop a new game, let's have a quick look at the games that we've already done. So, game history. Uh, yep, Duck Shoots. Uh, duck Drag Racing. Fisticuffs. Uh, zombies About. Yeah, and the light. Scallywag and Dave the Duck. We did a crossed, a crossed um, series. Did we do Duck Drag Racing twice? No, we did Duck Shoot last time. Okay, so new game, and we're going to try and get a new series going. See if anybody likes it. Uh, before we do, though, we're going to pick a topic. Uh, we'll do a fantasy role-playing game on the PC uh, for mature audiences and we will call it we need somebody um, a new name we've got Scallywag um, the Orc, we've got Dave the Duck and we should have uh, Fluffy the Wolf no um, <laughs> Fluffy the Wolf Hooter that no, we don't want any Hooters in this um, what we need is some sort of lead Male character, maybe, maybe a female character. Human probably is probably really what we want to go for. So let's uh, pick a, um, a, a very humile, a human type name. Um, so King. Oh, hang on a minute. Am I I'm not typing in the box? There we go. King. Uh, uh, King Fred. King Fred. That doesn't sound like a king's name, but that's all hunky dory. And um, and his uh, uh, goes no King Fred. Fust, fusty King Fred. No, we don't want Fusty King Fred. I suppose he could be Fusty Old King Fred. Yeah. Let's let's introduce our new. Our new friend, Fusty Old King Fred. Um, and we're going to have to have 2D graphics, I think, on this one in this little adventure. We're going to start development. Um, right, so we've got our higher staff come in. Uh, level 2 experience, 22k a month. Uh, 122, 191. 200 and 200. Oh, those are the only two people we found. Jack and Jeremy. The two J's. Um, well, I like uh, for the, they're both the same price, and um, it looks like his speed and research on Jack is a lot better. We're going to hire Jack. Congratulations, Jack! We hired someone famous. Brilliant. Um, so, development stage one for Fusty Old King Fred. It's a fantasy RPG, so stories and quests is very important. Gameplay. Maybe not. Engine doesn't matter too much. There we go. So, um, we need to uh, sort out... Whoop. Ah, here we go. We're going to train, and we're going to do the staff welcome training for him. For Jack. There we go. Uh, stage 2 of Fusty Old King. Um, fantasy RPG. Level design is very important. RPG dialogues is going to be important, and artificial intelligence, probably not so much. So, dialogues is probably the top thing here. Um, let's see. Let's get 
Oh, they're, they're both working on a game at the moment. That's brilliant. I love it when they both work on a game. Surely this game should be fantastic. Um, okay, so development stage three for Fusty Old King Fred. Um, graphics, will design in an RPG, I think, is a very important thing for me. Graphics and maybe sound, not so much. Uh, just, there we go. Contract work. Oh, it's this dude again. He reckons we're very successful and he's looking for some work. It's Jason. Thank you, Jason. Uh, medium sized contracts. Okay. Uh, well, these two, I think, are both working on a game. Yeah, so I don't, I can't do them. Oh, um, industry news. News. Ah, news. Um, uh, Vayner have announced that uh, we've got a new release of a gaming console in two months. Yeah, thank you, news guy. We don't need to know that. Uh, Vayner is said to uh, add the announcement the Oasis is <laughs> new. Uh, New start. Ooh, I do like the look of that. In fact, I think I had one of them. Um, but, you know, that that's using my memory, and my memory isn't the best of things. The brilliant thing is uh, all the bugs are gone from Fusty Old King. So let's finish that. It's not breaking any designer technology barriers. We've got a new combo. It's not a great combo, apparently, but let's release the game anyway. Uh, we've got some new research available, simple cutscenes and better dialogues. Uh, well, we can do some research. Um, Fustio, the reviews are in. Well, those numbers are all over the place. Let's see what we get. A six. Oh. Yeah, this game wasn't stupendous. We've got a lot of fans, though, so maybe we'll still make some money out of it. Five. Yeah, this is going to be a five, isn't it? Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, six. Well, okay. Pretty much an average of six, not too bad. So, uh, let's do some... We haven't got enough... Have we got enough... I don't want to create a custom engine just yet, because... I want to do some research. Can I do research? Hellish, do some research. Research... Um, better user experience, level editor... Mono... We don't want mono sounds. Medium games, yes. Research medium games, and uh, who's that? Diego, Diego, yep. Research better cutscenes, and then what we will do is when those two are done, we'll find some contract work. Um, debugger program, maybe not. Logo animation. Let's do some logo animation. So come on, Jack. Oh no. Jack Jack isn't as fast as what I thought he might be. Um, publishing contracts. Okay. Uh, hi, Hellish. I've followed your progress. Okay. Ah, developing larger games. Yep. Oh, I see. Yes, we can get a publisher. Oh, we don't want that right now. Thank you very much. He's going to put us in touch with some... Go away. Right. Everybody's helping out on this contract now this research is over. The uh, the uh, Today the new gaming platform, the Vayner Oasis, has been released. Okay. I don't know. We might just nip this one. There we go. Thank you very much, Hellish. You helped out there. So, um, I don't know if Jack needs a holiday or not. I'm not sure. Hellish... Uh, We've only got four research points at the minute, but I think we need to make... No, we need to make our first custom game engine. Okay, so this is going to be the Game Master Hellish Engine. No, it can't be. Oh, I know. The Gamer Master Hellish will have 2D graphics in there, linear story, save games, better dialogues, and open world. We've already got them researched and put in, and we will create the engine. Okay. Uh, tutorial. You are now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it to create new games. 
Excellent, that's what I wanted to hear. Um, I haven't filled another position yet, but um, fusty old King Fred is selling some. It's helping to keep us afloat. But now we've got our new custom game engine. Um, we've got an achievement apparently. Uh, is now yet yeah, the game engine's complete. Tutorial. Congratulations! You could first custom game engine is now ready. Excellent. So let's get a new game on the way straight away. Um, we'll do a follow up to Cus Fusty Old King Fred. Um, this time we're going to use our Game of Master Hellish engine. We're going to click. Uh, it's PC again because we're a PC company. Um, and it, we're going to do um, a dungeon adventure game. Yes, it's a medium game, so we're going to do a much bigger game than last time. And we're going to make it for mature audiences again. So we've got a dungeon adventure game on the PC. And um, so... Um, King Fred's... Um, uh, cahoots. Yeah, why not? King Fred's cahoots. He's having <laughs> cahoots in the uh, in the dungeon as long as it fits. Yep, there we go. King Fred's cahoots, uh, um, uh, an adventure dungeon game for the PC using our brand new engine. We're going to use version two graphics. So it's a medium game, brilliant graphics. We're piling all sorts of stuff into this. Everybody should be building and um, create. Uh, Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike smaller games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. Oh, this is where it starts to get a bit more complicated. To create good games, you need to use make base use of your team. Right, okay. Um, I remember this from last time. We'll have a look. So, um, we're going to have save games and linear story here. This is a dungeon adventure, so we want gameplay max, stories and quests down a little bit. Um, but who are we going to get to concentrate? Do I? Yes, I have to assign people to each part. So, um, design. Uh, technology is best. Hellish is best at technology, so we'll put Hellish on the engine. And um, Jack on the gameplay, and we'll put... Put Daigo there on stories and quests. We'll go to the next part. Oh, Fusty Old King is off the market. It generated nothing pretty much in sales. It was rubbish. But here we go. We've got a bug already. Who made that bug? If I find out who made that bug, you're sacked. We're down to one million cash. Uh, this game has to be successful. Um, we'll put Hellish in artificial intelligence. Um, Dungeon adventure, level design is very important. Dialogues, not so much, maybe. Level design, we want design king. Oh, actually, let's put Hellish on design. We've got, um, and then we'll put, we'll give, we'll give Jack, no, there we go. We'll do dialogues there like that. We have to assign out our staff now. Not very t many technology and design points going into this. This is a bit disappointing, almost. Um, we'll have it open world. Uh, world design. We'll put hellish over over budget, or should we put him on graphics instead? Yeah, we'll put him on graphics instead. We'll get Jack on the world design. There we go. There. It's costing us a fortune to make this medium game. Hopefully, though, we'll break all new boundaries. Um, I think we've broken design boundaries from previously. We've got to get rid of all these bugs. There's the bugs gone. Right. Uh, from time to time, your employees need to recharge their batteries and go on vacation. Oh, damn it. You can tell that their employee needs rest when they're efficiently steadily decreases okay uh, we can give them a holiday and send on vacation so I 
don't know if Jack needs a vacation or what. I'm not sure. Let's finish this game. New records in both. Um, we didn't really progress in anything else. We've got a new combination. I'm going to release this game. While the game's released, let's do... Um, let's get Jack on some research. We'll get a new topic, because we need some new topics. Um, game dev. We'll get a game dev topic for him. Start the research, because we've got 50 research points to use. Uh, the reviews are coming for uh, King Fred's Cahoots. Very good. Oh, brilliant. We've pulled it back. The second game in the series. Learned from its mistakes. Better than last time, but not tremendous, though. No, nice experience. Overall, I think we've done quite well there. Uh, not too bad. Um, come on, let's do some research over here. Um, we don't want casual games. I'm going to research... Um, I think we're going to research marketing. That'll be a nice thing to do. And hellish research a new topic. Ninja. Everybody's busy working away. There we go. As King Fred's cahoots goes into sales, it's ranked 28 in the leads at the minute. That's not too bad. Um, that's research completed. Let's just leave it for a couple of seconds. Marketing completed. You successfully unlocked marketing. Now we can market our games. This will be brilliant. Right, everybody's finished, so let's develop a new game. We've got no research points to spend. We're going to do a medium game again. We're going to spend our money. Uh, we're going to bring Dave the Duck back because we're going to do... No, wait. We'll do a game dev simulation game on the PC. You will use our Game and Master Hellish engine and we will call it um, probably something along the lines of Scallywag something something something. Yeah. Right. Um, or should we do it? No, Dave. Dave's our hero so Dave's Dev Tycoon. <laughs> oh, there we go. Dave, Dave's Dev Tycoon. Uh, we've got a, a, a game dev simulation game on the PC. Uh, I wonder where I got that idea from. We'll make it for mature audiences. We're sticking with a mature theme. Or should we make it for everyone? Everyone. Let's stick with everyone now. Because uh, Dave, you know, he's a duck. And, um, you know, ducks are kid friendly. So away we go. 2D graphics version 2. Yeah, why not? So here we go. We're making a fantastic game. Um, so gameplay has got to be fantastic. Um, oh, yeah. Who who do we? Well, we want to get hellish on the engine, so we get the tech up. Stories and quests. Not so much. There we go. Concentrate on gameplay for this one. Okay, in we go. Let's have a look at filling a position. We'll spend... Uh, we haven't got a lot of money, so we'll only spend 50k on looking for another person. As the game forwards, uh, goes forward. Now, this, this person's good. Uh, Melanie... Melanie Richards or Ronnie? Oh, look at Ronnie's skills! Fantastic! It's 22 a month, but we can design games like nobody's business there. And I'm sorry, um, we're going to uh, fire. Yeah, we're going to fire him. There we are. So we've got, we got Hellish Ronnie and Jack now. Uh, Ronnie's come in. He's got great tech stuff, so that can leave Hellish for design things. Um, so we'll get Ronnie straight in on the level design uh, which frees Hellish up to help out on the dialogues Jack can just take it easy for now we'll use better dialogues in this level of uh, development 
Our cash is still floating around the 1 million mark, but I'm hoping that uh, Dave, the Dave series is going to come up. See how we do. Right, next stage. Um, Hellish on the world design puts him over. Let's get uh, Ronnie, the new guy, on the world design. Uh, Hellish can do the graphics, yeah, and we'll give Jack the sound. We've got 2D base and open world. I love open world games. Oh, we haven't got anybody doing the sound. There's Jack. So, I really want this game to be even better than King Fred's Cahoots because we need the money badly. We've got loads of bugs. Um, oh, uh, ah, interesting news! Uh, today, Nintendo announced a much appreciated successor to the popular DES console. Yeah, we don't want to know about that news, guy. Just go away. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment. Yeah, I'm sure they have, but I wasn't. Right, let's just see. We're we gonna get oh, games off the market. Yep, that's a little bit better. Uh, King Fred's Cahoots was uh, better than the last one, but are we going to get? Any hype around this? Oh, design and technology points are still popping in. There we go, that'll do. Wow, we've broke all new records uh, in terms of... And we've got a new topic and a new combo. Um, 2D graphics we've leveled up. So we're really good at 2D graphics now. Let's release the game. And um, we will get... Ooh, I don't know, while we're waiting for stuff to happen... I've discovered that some... Uh, hang on a minute, Jack's come up with something. He's discovered some fans of Zombies About. I created a fan game of lots... Using lots of the material from our game. Oh. Um, they don't make any money from it. And they just seem to uh, do it for fellow fans. Well, no, we'll let them be. We'll let them be. New games with new topics at the moment. Right, okay. So in that case, let's use our 43 research points. We're going to research government. Um, you research government, Jack. Um, the reviews are in for Dave's Dev Tycoon. Seven. Nice. Oh, I thought we was going to get a ten there from Informed Gamer. Oh, yes! Game Hero, of course. Game Dev and Simulation is a great combination. We've got a, a fantastic game here. Um, let's get uh, Ronnie back and researching. Uh, I want to get the level editor into our next version uh, of our engine. We'll research uh, simple cutscenes as well. Get everybody to research stuff. Jack looks like he needs to go on vacation, so we'll probably do that next. Um, this is the Zombies About fan game. Um, legal department advised us to stop. That's fine. We're the best company in the world, apparently. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, wow, we gained 380 fans. Smiley face. Well, there we have it. Um, we've done some good games there. Uh, we haven't really raised a lot of cash, but we've started to research lots of stuff, so hopefully this next game will push us up a bit more. Uh, we've got some... Uh, we've got three staff now. We're doing quite well. Jack's going to have to go on vacation, but we'll leave that for next time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. I've been Master Hellish, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>